Well, hello there, person. Welcome to another video of making the game Wraith Binder, the multiplayer local or online game with fun in it. Everybody loves fun, right? Give me some more of that. Dang, what happened to my sound here? It's going crazy loud on the speak these speakers, but not on those speakers. Crazy. See if we restart and this will work better. Oh, I hope the sounds all right on this video. Well, let's just keep going, huh? Um, so some new stuff this week. Uh, first thing is these wraith bridges. So I've always wanted to have, um, uh, basically perquisites for wraiths only so you're a living player right let's say you're still alive in wraith binder the whole concept is when you die in wraith binder you're bound to the person that kills you and uh you're their wraith basically you're on their team now and any damage you do anyone else you kill counts for that team so as a living player you already have an advantage you've already lived long enough to um to show the fact that you're in that match at least you're better than the other players you're you you've done well done better in that match at least uh so right now there's these, these wraith bridges right i've had these elemental temples for since uh, last week basically you go to these temples and you can kneel at them it emits a, an element and uh this is the ice element now i have the ice element it applies to all my weapons even uh I kind of messed up there. Um, uh, so, so yeah, this is a this is a really nice power up, right? You, the fact that you can get these power ups. There's ice here. There's fire up here, or you know, there's ice, acid, lightning, and fire all over the the, the map. Um, but I had this so you would have to just build a bridge to get out to these, right? But now there's these wraith bridges, which are basically paths that can be only crossed if you are a wraith. Um, so let's go ahead and just turn into Wraith mode here. I've got all the bots disabled right now. So I'm just in my own, my own solo self rolling, rolling around the map here. So I'm just going to turn myself into a Wraith, uh, so we can see these Wraith bridges. But basically, uh, the Wraith bridge will appear if you're a Wraith. So, um, that's what it's like. You can walk on these paths if you're a Wraith. And if you're living, you cannot walk on these paths. So, this gives you the advantage, the, the perk, the perquisite as a, um, as a wraith that you can go and get these elements. And um, since it works with the um, collision categories, basically the uh, pathfinding system works too, so bots can even travel over here. If a bot is a wraith, they will automatically know how to pathfind over here, get this item, because they already know how to open up chests, and um, these chests and uh, the temples work in very simple, similar ways. You basically come over here, you just hold the button for a second, and then uh, release it to get the item. I wonder why it doesn't... Oh! I wonder why this has had its... I'm just noticing that this, this art is open, but it doesn't have its element. That's weird. Oh well. Uh, I'll have to work on that. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's one new thing this week. The Wraith Bridges always wanted to have that that uh, that sort of unique aspect for wraiths only so that's a benefit if you're a wraith and you die and you and you're in wraith binder and you you're now you're dead you at least have the benefit that you could go and get these elements quite easily and if you're a regular player you could technically get over there by building bridges so you could get around the fact that um, uh, that those are meant only for wraiths you can sort of sequence break it a little bit in, in a sense break the game's design a bit um, so here's another new thing this week um, it's uh, the fact that the, the world erodes over time and this is uh, basically I wanted to create a way to urge matches to a resolution I've noticed some of my some matches going on and on and on and uh, let's turn on this throw off this delay here and make this erode to rate uh, yeah, we can turn that down a bit too. So what we're going to see is the world sort of just slowly eroding over time. In fact, it'll be fast because I just turned out and turned down those numbers. Um, but let's just go over here and stand on the edge of the world and watch it erode. 
So, and, and again, the point here is that um, um, it just urges matches to a resolution. If a match is going on too long, so here it goes. And so it goes around the edges of the world first, right? The very edge, it starts removing the blocks and removing the blocks and removing the blocks more and more. And uh, if you're standing here on the edge as a block falls away, you will fall. And it pushes you back to the nearest block. Um, it gets rid of these temples pretty quickly because um, temples are sort of on the edge of the map. I'm thinking about moving the temples closer in so that they're one of the last things to get removed because you don't really get access to temples until later. Um, well, I guess it really kind of depends on when you're a wraith. So, But let's speed up time. And watch as these, it, it just, it, um, it pushed me way back far because uh, it didn't know where to put me there for a second. Okay, so we'll just stand here. We got time sped up. It's eroding the map. Pushing me back, pushing me back. Basically, what it's gonna, what we're gonna see here is that it pushes me back to a certain point, right? It doesn't erode the entire world, um, but it it does push you back far enough that you will. Here, if we speed up time a little bit more, it'll put it'll erode all the way to the center here. Here we go. Uh, so but basically imagine if imagine if there was a long match going on there it goes it's done um, if there's a long match going on and um, all the players would be pushed back to this area right here right imagine eight players in this area right here we would have a lot of action going on a lot of battling and I'm sure some kind of resolution would come to this to this match right so there's no there's not a time limit uh, in a sense there's there's more of a, a, a it's not an absolute time limit. It's more of a, a flexible time limit. It pushes you all into here. So technically, you could have eight players just sitting here doing nothing, and the match still would go on forever. Uh, but, you know, as a player, are you really going to sit in an in a online match forever? No, probably not. So you're probably going to go in there and just kill everybody else that's not doing anything if you're if no one else is doing anything. And besides, you got this boss of fire here, which can turn you into a boss and do tons of damage on everybody else that's just sitting around doing nothing. So that sounds fun, right? So there you go. There's two new things. Um, what was the other new thing this week? Oh, it's the art for the temples. Um... Oh, and the lightning effect between the player and the new wraith. That's pretty cool. We got to see that. Okay, so let's go. Um, let's undo these amounts on the world erosion. And uh, let's make bots. Turn on some bots, but make them dumb. Just sit there so we can kill them. This is really neat. So we got this cool lightning effect going on that shows you who. Um, makes sort of like visually. Um, communicates the fact that you that the player that gets that dies is your is a wraith that's bound to the player that killed that wraith um i always thought that maybe i would do some chain some kind of visual chain that had there was, there was a chain going from you to the wraith um but it's the, you can really just run around the whole map and would you would i really want a chain stretching across the entire map I don't know. It might actually be cool. Maybe I'll maybe I'll go ahead and try that. But for now, we've got this effect going on where um, when you when a, a player dies, you let's just do it. Oh, I don't know. okay. It's gonna still do it. Sweet. So there, we had some cool lightning going on. Let's turn on one more bot so we can see it without it um, switching to victory. As I'm watching this, I actually want this lightning to be more. I want there to be, or to last longer at least, so I'll, I'll probably tweak that. So there you go. Kind of just visually clarifies a little bit more that they're on your team now. Um, so yeah, 
That's all that's new this week. Thanks a lot for watching this video, and we'll catch you on the next video, alright? See ya!